Welcome to X Games Aspen in beautiful, sunny Aspen, Colorado. You guys have caught me midway to work on my work commute to the top of the Big Air Ramp, where the men of Ski Big Air will be dropping in on their final later tonight. Also coming up, the women of Snowboard Superpipe. It's Saturday night, live at X Games. <laughs> For a report in the pipe, Alyssa Ronick. Yeah, literally in the pipe. Hopefully being down here gives you guys a bit of perspective of just how gigantic these walls are. 22 feet, that's four of me and then some. But these walls aren't just high and huge. They're also icy. This is one of the few comps these guys ride at night all year. That makes the jobs of their techs up at the top so important to make sure their boards are waxed, they're sharpened. Most of these guys are running a one degree base bevel, two degrees on the sides. That's gonna help them really hold a line, get the kind of height they need. But as you know, with more amplitude comes more consequence. Alyssa, you are down there. How wet actually is it? I love that I started the last report off telling you all that it dried <laughs> up and Mother Nature had shined on us. But yeah, it's pretty wet down here. And if there was ever a time for Bucky Lastic's pit crew to be out here helping out, this is it. All right, Danny, when did you become the most clutch rider in snowboarding? You know, this was the event that you wanted. Everyone's here, perfect half pipe. What does it mean to you, two gold medals in a row here at X Games? So, uh, very unexpected. You know, the question on everyone's mind regarding Sean is, what was he thinking two nights ago, not taking that final qualifying run? I talked to him today at practice, and he said, I didn't want to cause a media frenzy, I didn't want to tell anyone, but I'd taken a crash during slope style practice, bruised my heel, and I really wanted to save my body for both slope style finals and this contest tonight. A six-peat means a lot to him. Coach, first three games of the season, you guys were a great second-half team, but slow to start in the first. Heading into the locker room with a lead for the first time this year. How do you feel about the first half play of your team? Lissa, what's he got to say? Hey, Tony, first we're going to have to get him down off of his truck, or maybe I'll just uh, I'll just climb up here with him. <laughs> Toby, four in a row. How confident are you right now at the start of these races? No, we just take everybody like a race by race every time, but I'm so happy now, and of course I think we have like a huge party tonight. <laughs> iPod, that was the first time you've done that trick in a full run. Tell us, just tell us what it felt like. Is it just a scary trick? You guys, the toughest woman in Super Pipe is 14 years old. Chloe, first of all, how are you feeling? I'm, um, I mean, my face kind of hurts right now. <laughs> Here with Laya Sands, back-to-back -back gold medalist. Laya, unbelievable racing. What was it like to compete in front of this hometown crowd? Taka, congratulations, back-to-back -back gold medals here at X Games. You told me before your first run you were more nervous than you've ever been for a freestyle contest. Why the nerves today? Alyssa, what is happening down there? Look like he split his nose or head. Yeah, I'm no doctor, but uh, I I've seen a few broken noses, and uh, that's not what Bob's nose looked like a few minutes ago. Bob, why did it mean so much for you to take those final runs despite the pain that you have to be in right now? You know, we're, we're here to skate. Obviously, you never call last run, but on that fourth run when you're standing up there, what do you want to remember about this moment? Thank you for all the fans that come out and support us and believe in action sports. We're here to stay. So you know, a few years ago, your brother won a gold medal here in slope style. What does it mean to you to bring another gold home to the Gagne family? Insane, I've been dreaming about this since I'm six years old. Zach, you guys both have big wins this season, but we're in LA now. It's the final event of 2013. They say you saved the best for last, so what have you got for us tonight? Don't worry, I won't tell Chad. We all know how proud you are of your home state. What do you think about defending this X Games gold medal in Texas next year? What, what more can we say than that? Yeah, David, right now you're sitting in that silver medal position. With these three runs out here, you were struggling with that right side double cork 14. Why keep going for it? Yeah, you guys, as of about 10 minutes ago, three of the guys in this comp, John O'Schwan, Elliot Sloan, and Bob Bermquist, have been out here skating for 12 hours. They competed in Skate Vert this morning. They were here for practice at 9. Elliot said this is the toughest day they've ever had at X Games, and this is, in fact, the first time we've run Vert and Big Air on the same day. But remarkably, of the guys we saw in that qualifier earlier, three of them, three of the four who competed in vert are still here. So I think those naps today in the, uh, the hammocks at the Athlete Lounge must have been a bit rejuvenating. Alyssa. That's right. Kelly's hoping that the number four is her lucky number. Going for her fourth win here, fourth Olympic Games. What, is it, what does it feel like to hear that superlative before your name? 
Uh, it's kind of amazing. It's an absolute privilege to be getting to go back to the Olympics and represent my country again. And Yeah, Toby, we've seen a lot down here in the rally paddock. We talk about these mechanics, they're magicians. But a few minutes ago, Steve Arpin was laying under his own car with a socket wrench doing work. He said, I want, I will do anything to get out there. He asked how much time there was. And then he asked if he went out and laid down on the track if he could buy himself a few more minutes. <laughs> I'm standing beside Frederick August Kruger IV, the original Freddy Kruger. Later in the show, he's going to attempt to break the world ski fly record. But the name of the current world record holder, well, that might surprise some of you at home. Let's take a look at what happened yesterday. All right, Freddie, that was absolutely incredible. Congratulations are in order. Talk about yesterday. I mean, that was practice. Yeah, so the current world record is now 312 feet. What do you have in store for us today later in the show?